Good day, YouTube viewers, Facebook friends, family and acquaintances. This is Lonnie, how you guys doing? Coming to you today from the night crawler. Coming to you today with a quick Lonnie's life lesson video. I really don't even have a name for this video right now. So um, I don't have a name for it. So maybe I think of something and put it up there in the title or whatever. But um, anyway, I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible. All right, maybe three first Fridays ago here in Atlanta, um, I met up with some friends and acquaintances at um, at the Dirty Bird here in Atlanta. Um, it was First Friday, so anybody um, that's from Atlanta and you know about First Friday, so you know exactly what place I'm talking about. So this was around the time that Captain America Civil War came out. So there was a group of us um, sitting outside, was standing outside, um, talking about Civil War and, you know, what they liked about it, what they didn't like, or whatever. Someone and came from inside the club to the outside and out there on the patio where we were. And, they, you know, they hugged a few people. And so when it came time for them to come around to me, the people say sometimes I'm shady. They were going and around hugging people and I didn't want them to think that I was being funny. So instead of me just shaking their hand, I just simply gave them a half hug. It wasn't a full hug. Um, it was a half of a half hug. Um, my arms didn't really go around them. I just simply just wanted to acknowledge their presence. So anyway, not finna go into the fucking hug and shit. So they, their reply to me was, is that, wow, Lonnie, I didn't know we were that close that we could hug each other. So everyone just like, kind of like paused for a second and I was just like, oh, okay. So I picked my face up off the ground and put it back on and I kept the shit moving. And I'm like, bitch, you never have to worry about me hugging you again. I had that in the back of my memory bank. So when I see them, I just acknowledge them by giving them like a little, what's up? And keep that shit moving. So the following night, now mind you, they told me that they didn't think we were that cool or that close that we could be hugging each other. So the following night, I met some friends at this establishment on Jennifer Street. I saw the same person. So there was like maybe six or seven, seven of us like standing waiting for a table. The same person kind of like gave everybody a dry ass hello, but went straight to one particular person and they hugged this person. The person looked around like, oh, okay. So they hugged them. So I'm reading the facial expression on the person that they just hugged. I went and asked their um, their date. I said, um, do they know each other? The reply was, is that no. <laughs> so I told them what happened with me or whatever. And it was just so amazing is that in, in my community, I thought giving a hug was a universal language, honestly speaking. I was told that it's really not a universal language. It's just something that maybe groups of friends do. Um, but from my experience but with being in this lifestyle, the universal language I've all, that I've always received from people have been giving a hug. It's not a whole hug. Um, sometimes it's like a half hug just to acknowledge someone's presence um, or if there's some bad blood between you two you may just give a handshake and let that be that but so that was the lesson that I learned in this is that sometimes what I've learned about people is that one minute they'll crucify you for the same thing that they'll turn around and do now I'm not saying this because I'm bitter I'm not saying this because I'm upset. It's nothing. It's, it's neither one. Um, it's just that I just thought it was really interesting that that somebody would check me about a behavior about a behavior that I I I shown or I did or something, but yet turn right around to do the same thing to somebody that they don't even know. And it's a long story, but. Uh, behind the whole thing but but um but it was but the whole story itself is really interesting 
but I just thought it was really funny. It was like one, one of those things that, ah, I see you. And um, so, but uh, anyway, guys, I'm about to get upstairs, get to work. So uh, remember, if you don't love you, well, nobody else will. And if you don't love you, you better wake up because it's a beautiful feeling. And until next time, look for me in the sunset. Bye. <laughs>